I was against JYD. So, so match. I, I wasn't really impressed with it, but JYD was a good draw. That was a good match they had on top. That was, you know, that was good. It should have been me and Tito, but they didn't want Tito to win the belt for me. So they wanted to stretch it out a little further. And then after that, it was me and Brutus's, and that was a good run too, so. We hadn't talked a lot about David San Martino. Well, Bruno didn't like my dad, so I didn't like Bruno. And I had a couple matches in the garden, and I think we went over it, where he held me down, wouldn't let me do anything. I didn't appreciate that, but uh, later, in later years, I, you know, he was always nice to me, so. You know, it's hell getting old. <laughs> and getting old, he was old and bitter. And Vince kept wanting to put him in the Hall of Fame and he didn't want to come back. And he eventually did though. So he was just an old bitter man. I don't know what happened to David. You know, he tried to be too much like his father or he'd get out there and I think he was too small. You know, saying he couldn't overcome. I overcome Johnny Valentine, but you know, it's just I had my I had a style a lot like my dad, but it was still different. And then my dad was un, in that fortunate unfortunate plane crash. Maybe that helped me catapult to up to main event status on my own. I think I could have done it on my own anyway. But uh, David was just a little too small. The last time I heard, he was in Atlanta, and he was training guys at the. You know, I wish him the best. I have nothing against the guy. Uh, I heard he was training guys down in Atlanta at a gym or something. But it's unfortunate, you know, because here's another, a lot of guys, if they have to call, follow that big name that the, that their dad had, can't do it. Like Cowboy Bob Orton, his dad, Bob Orton Sr. was, was a good draw. Bob ended up surpassing all that. And now his son, you know, Randy's done a great job. Bob David was, it was a shame. I just don't think that he had the talent and he wasn't big enough. He tried, he had a bad attitude though. He, I remember he had a bad attitude. And then the, the Bruno thing too, and I, I don't know if it was your father that had said it, but I, I read a little bit about how uh, the criticism he had as a champion, like maybe he's not as good, maybe it's more so because he's up in New York, he's Italian and because the, well, the media dad, up there too is pushing my, him. My dad wanted that world belt, and uh, he should have got it. They gave him all the other belts, right? But he just told me personally that, that Bruno sucked. <laughs> but he drew a lot of money because, you know, he's a big muscle-bound guy. As far as saying suck, it was just, he was just repetitious. Same work every time. He didn't mix it up. And... But he was there because, because of the Italian presence, strong presence in New York. You know, there was a lot of Puerto Ricans there for Pedro, and he was world champion too, or intercontinental too. I think he was both. Pedro was a beautiful guy though, where Bruno was kind of a stick in the mud sort of personality. Thought he was better than everybody. And but he drew a lot of money because he's Italian and because he had that big hairy barrel chest and, and, and he was strong, you know, 500 pound bench press or whatever. I had to deal with a lot of those muscle heads when I, when I first went into New York, there was Ivan Pusky. That he didn't want to work the way I wanted to work. And, you know, just muscle bound, muscle freak guys and they can't work. Tony Atlas, now he could work, you know, and he was muscle bound. Rocky Johnson, he could work, you know.